Man, I'm so out of shape. Oh, yeah. I think you guys are probably wondering what this video is about. Well, I'll tell you what it's about. The video is just a, just a little recap of what this last rain system has done to our local bodies of water. I woke up this morning to a loud sound that uh, sounded kind of like TV static. Oh, I look out the window, it's rain. So yeah, it uh, came down on us pretty crazy for a good, I'd say five minutes, and then it calmed down. So right now, we are, uh, we're just parked here in the parking lot. I just walked down uh, over here by Palm and Knees. Just took a quick little nature walk just to check the water levels out. Um, it looks pretty good. Wish I had my kayak on me and uh, my poles, but uh, saw some people down there fishing. Um, I was too far from them to ask them if they had a bite or anything, so who knows? Those are pretty damn high, as you can see in the in this video. Um, I was quite surprised. I came in to work. I usually pass over the San Joaquin River when I cross over on the 41 coming to work, and I noticed a lot of water. Looks like we're going to get a good rain, some more rain, and hopefully these aquifers will fill up. One thing I noticed was before uh, last night's storm came through is the Fresno River in Madera was flowing. One of my friends posted pictures on Facebook, so naturally I was uh, wondering what the heck's going on. I thought maybe they're old pictures, so we took a drive down there, and sure enough, the Fresno River is flowing. A couple of guys went down there and tossed some lines. They didn't report any hits or anything or caught any fish, but I don't know, man. Um, maybe too muddy right now. Not saying you can't catch them, but you're going to need to throw black and blue. And sometimes you can throw out chartreuse. I have more uh, luck with chartreuse and dirty water than anything. Um, I'll post some recommendations for uh, what lures to get for fishing in muddy water or murky water in the uh, description below. A couple of uh, lures that uh, I have a good luck on in staying in dirty water. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've never fished in this kind of weather before where the water is coming up pretty high. Some other guys, you know, you guys have been fishing for a long time. I used to fish on and off as a kid. Didn't really take it as a hobby until about five, six years ago. Um, so this is all pretty crazy to me. Um, before, I wouldn't even care about the water, but now it's pretty intriguing. So, um, I, haven't, I haven't purchased my fishing license yet for 2017. Usually I get it for my birthday or something, and uh, January 20th is my birthday. So if any of you want to buy my fishing license for me, hit me up. Uh, send me an email. <laughs> uh, if not, oh. Uh, if not, anyways, uh, I'll probably purchase it or somebody will buy it for me. Um, my girlfriend will buy it for me or something. But yeah, um, for the time being, I'm probably just going to take the nature trail or uh, kind of just throw my, uh, my Lowrance on my kayak and just paddle around, just enjoy nature and kind of see if, there's a, if I can mark any fish in any of these waters. One of the uh, places I want to try and mark fish is at, uh, it's called Whitman Lake. Uh, those of you that might know where this is at, good on you. If you don't, Google it. <laughs> it's near the Fresno River, or it's kind of on the Fresno River. Probably going to launch there and paddle around there for an hour or so just to see if I can mark any fish there. That way I know if you know, I'm wasting my time or not. And I might paddle upstream as far as I can and then let the current take me back down. That's probably going to be this weekend's adventure. Um, and then uh, if I still haven't got my fishing license by the following week, I'll probably just come launch at the Fresno, Ri uh, Fresno River. Uh, come launch at the San Joaquin River right here near, uh, near River Park. Um, looks like I can, I can probably access. Uh, there's a road right here that I can go down. And, should be an easy entrance, so 
we're just gonna paddle around just to mark fish. That way I know, you know, we scout out some spots before we uh, commit and come out here and spend some time on the water trying to c catch fish. Oh, and just some news for you guys. Um, I was just accepted to be a part of an awesome team uh, at Jack Bates. If you don't know who Jack Bates is, they're a jig company. Um, they create some awesome jigs. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check them out yourself. Um, for all my viewers, anybody that follows me on social media, we, you can pick up the 10% off of your uh, of your order. The coupon code you want to use is Gabe1, Gabe as in me, 1. I'll put it all in the description below. And uh, I'm also going to be doing a, a giveaway sometime in the near future for uh, a nice little pack of these jigs. So then you can check them out for yourself. And I'll also be doing a review on these jigs just to let you guys know what they're about. So stay tuned for that as well. That's all she wrote, folks. If you like this video, please drop me the one up. If you have any comments, go ahead and feel free to comment. Whether it's negative or positive, it's not going to hurt me even if you give me a negative comment. It's, it is what it is. If anybody's interested in joining me out on the kayak, maybe go do some scouting together. You do the fishing, I'll do a little bit of scouting, or we can just scout together. I could always use the company. Uh, if you're in the Madera, Fresno area, just let me know. Go ahead and uh, hit me up on my email. I'll put that in the I'll put that in the description below. Um, or you can drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, we'll arrange something. And I just wanted to thank everybody that's a subscriber. Uh, I wouldn't be doing these videos without you. You guys are the driving force behind my videos. Otherwise, I'd just be out there fishing doing whatever the hell I, I, I please uh, I do put some thought into these videos just want to let you guys know I'm trying to improve quality little by little and yeah that's pretty much it stay hooked keep it real and we'll see you guys out on the next video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed Tight lines.